Hello and welcome to this week's edition of OPM Now, where we look at the activities of Prime Minister Andrew Holness and your government. I'm Naomi Francis. This week on OPM Now, heavy rains continue across the island. Agriculture Minister indicates assistance to be given to farmers following heavy rains. Government moves to make Portmore a parish. And Prime Minister Holness congratulates U.S. President-elect Joseph Biden. These and more stories now. Persistent rains continued to pelt Jamaica over the past week, resulting in more landslides in sections of the island. Prime Minister Andrew Holner says updated damage assessments will be done to inform repairs to the country's infrastructure. As soon as there is a break in the current weather, if there is a landslip or a community is marooned, we will be mobilizing resources to ensure that residents can have access and critical roadways are reopened. That work is underway. The Prime Minister will also do a damage assessment tour. Meanwhile, the Minister of Agriculture and Fisheries, the Honorable Floyd Green, outlines what will be done to assist farmers who have been affected by the heavy rains. Very, very challenging. I think we've seen tremendous devastation to a number of crop areas. Um, vegetable crops have been hit. Unfortunately, most farmers we interacted with would have lost upwards of 60% of their farms. Some of them complete a complete crop acres upon top of acres. Um, hardest hit crops would definitely be things like lettuce, cabbage, tomatoes, sweet peppers. Clearly, we have to be in a position to help our farmers get back planted as quickly as possible. Already, we have dispatched $15 million to the hardest hit parishes, and that's just emergency intervention. So, St. Elizabeth, Manchester, Clarendon, Rada has already dispatched some money so that we can procure seeds so that those who can plant can get back to planting. But clearly, we're also still watching the weather because, again, you have to ensure that your interventions are so timed so that you will have the best results. But we will outline a comprehensive program of relief. Prime Minister Holness says the government will not rest until perpetrators who attack arms of the state are brought to justice. He was speaking following the killing of Constable Kirkland Plummer on Saturday, November 7. The young constable was attacked and killed in Clarendon by persons who were at a party after curfew hours. The Prime Minister extended condolences to Constable Plummer's wife and three children and the JCF. The government has taken another step to honor its commitment to the people of Portmore to make the municipality a parish. Whereas the demographic making up the Portmore city municipality now deem that it be established as a parish to focus exclusively on managing the area in the order to achieve sustainable development. And whereas the economic, social and cultural benefits and potential for generating revenue with Portmore becoming a parish, be it resolved that this Honorable House of Representative appoint a special select committee to be chaired by the member from St. Catherine South Central to sit jointly with a similar committee to be appointed by the Senate and to consider and report on the proposal to make Portmore City Municipality the 15th parish of Jamaica. The government has kept its promise to provide and distribute 33,800 tablets to students across the island. In the meantime, the government and the private sector have also partnered to get devices to more students. Jamaicans, particularly those in the diaspora who want to donate tablets to students in Jamaica, can do so through the National Education Trust. The project team for the National Identification System, NIDS, last week gave the Prime Minister an update on the progress to implement the bill once approved by both Houses of Parliament. Prime Minister Holness used the occasion to reassure Jamaicans that the NIDS will be accorded the highest level of safety and security in accordance with international standards for collecting and storing personal information. 
Prime Minister Andrew Holness has extended congratulations on behalf of the government and people of Jamaica to the U.S. President-elect Joseph Biden and the Vice President-elect Kamala Harris. Prime Minister Holness also especially congratulated Ms. Harris, who has Jamaican heritage, for being the first woman and black VP. Jamaica and the U.S. enjoy strong bilateral relations. The month of November is being celebrated as Youth Month, and young people across the country are excited about this. For us to recover from COVID effectively, youth have to be the center of the conversation. Hence why we have to rethink how youth are positioned within our society, not just within the minds of youth ourselves, but also in the minds of those we interact with. But it begins with you. It begins with youth. So I'm asking all youth in Jamaica, participate, engage, develop ideas, continue to be innovative so that we can build a strong country after COVID. Rethink Youth. And finally, in the midst of COVID-19 and online school, two policemen from the Belfield Police Station in St. Mary assist students with online classes. Big up to Corporal McLean and District Constable Moncrief. Thanks for displaying the true spirit of Jamaica. And that's it for OPM Now. Remember to follow the Prime Minister on all socials at Andrew Holness JM and on YouTube at Andrew Michael Holness forward slash JM. And please look out for OPM Now every Monday at 6 p.m. on all socials. Catch you next week. Stay safe.